And now Council Member Volan. This is from the Mayor's office. Whereas, although Joe Nickel and Bart Everson didn't set out to become television pioneers, that's exactly what happened when J&B on the Rocks hit the airwaves, quote unquote, on July 7th, 1992. And whereas with little broadcast experience, a fair amount of Midwestern chutzpah, and absolutely no budget, Joe and Bart, hereafter referred to as J&B, soon became a weekly late night fixture, attracting a loyal fan base of students, sleepwalkers, sleepwalking students, bouncers, bar flies, retired mixologists, and insomniacs. And whereas week after week, Carl Orff's O Fortuna signaled the start of something somewhat magical as JNB pushed the bounds of free speech and good taste for a full 30 minutes. And whereas, and whereas, and whereas, and whereas, and whereas, and whereas, now therefore I, Mark Cruzan, Mayor of Bloomington, do hereby proclaim July 7th, 2013, as National Rocks Day in Bloomington, Indiana, in honor of the 21st anniversary of this groundbreaking TV show. Here to receive the uh, proclamation is B, Bart Everson. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, this really means a lot, and uh, I, I just wanted to say thank you to the people of, of Bloomington, because really, there's no place else we feel like this television show could have gotten started, that no place else it could have really emerged. And I, I know, Steve, that you are, uh, you know, you got your five minute limit, so I'll keep my comments very brief. Uh, there's. I guess really just one other thing I want to say. So this is out on, going out on CATS right now, right? We're going out to the local uh, television viewers. And so I would just ask everybody in this room and all the people at home, is there any, are any of you on Facebook? Anybody on Facebook? Anybody? anybody? Just a, a couple of people? Great, because listen, I need all the likes I can get. Because I got all the haters that I need. If I didn't take control of this entire show, then they wouldn't call me Editor B. Hit a T. Boom. I'm feeling this. It's hard to maintain this lifestyle. Giving so much love to a city far away when I'd rather just be chilling in B-Town. As I always just wanted to stay. But that was 21 years ago. When I started this show with a guy named Joey, and now it's not too surprising you can feel my chi rising, because I'm back here on Bloomington soil. Now they say there's a mystic energy that emanates from the limestone below. That's right, T. If there's one thing that Bloomingtonians are known for, it's that they love their local native mineral deposits. That's right, B. Never let it be said that Bloomingtonians don't like their rocks. And that's why we like Bloomingtonians. And that's what makes this long-distance relationship so complicated. And that's why we're using social media. And that's why we need all the likes we can get. Because we got all the haters that we need. We Uh, no, wait, Christy, please. If there's one thing that we've learned over the years, it's that we're all about the love, all about sharing the love. This isn't just about me. This is about all of you. This is, you see, you may have considered this just another meeting of the Bloomington Common Council, but this is Rocks, episode number 99. We're videotaping it right now. And so we're sharing this love with all of the Rocks crew, which includes every person in this room and every person who's watching this on television right now. So when you like Rocks on Facebook, it's kind of like you're liking yourself. So say it with me now. We, we need, need all, all the likes we can get because we got all the haters that we need. To let love flow, you've got to let life grow. So today, we're just planting the seed. Thank you very much, Bloomington. Peace, love, one love, one unity. We're out. I, I would humbly ask the council to consider that to be part of public comment. Thank you very much. Okay.
Thank you, Councilmember Volan.